Welcome one and all to Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 597. Got a great show for you today. Got a brand new game for you today. It has been long requested. It has been long promised. And today, I finally deliver on that promise. We are going to start playing Resident Evil 3, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that makes a lot of you happy. I know that so many of you have been looking forward to it, and uh, it was difficult for me. I had to decide exactly which game I was going to play tonight, and I had a number of games that I have been planning to play for Scotch and Smoke Rings loaded on my machine. And I figured, well, I've got my tactics lore video already done for the weekend, which I do, by the way. So, it's going to be exciting. Um, Jefferson is where we're going in tactics for the weekend. It's a great mission, but I'll talk about it later. I've got my tactics video done for the weekend. Let me take Thursday to play an hour or so through each of these vi these games that I want to do for Scotch and Smoke Rings. And then I'll, you know, very, you know, tend to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take some time to consider each one and uh, decide on what I want to play for tonight. So I loaded up Resident Evil 3 first. I dive in. Within the first 20 minutes, I'm like, yeah, we're playing this tonight. <laughs> it was, it, it had me at the edge of my seat and I wanted to learn more. And I was like, that's it. I don't have to do anything more. That's, the other games I'm sure are great, but this is what I want to play tonight. So we're playing Resident Evil 3 tonight. It looks great. I know it's a remake of an older version, an older version. I believe it's called Resident Evil Nemesis. And it came out like in the early to the, in the early 2000s, maybe in the 90s even. I don't even remember. But this is a remake and it looks great. So I can't wait to play it with all of you. So for those of you who are familiar with my show, Scotch and Smoke Rings, which only airs once a week, what we tend to do is do an hour-long Q&A at the beginning. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's a little less than an hour. But, but an hour-long Q&A at the beginning where you have your questions and I do my best to provide you with my answers. And that's what we're doing right now. After the Q&A, we get to the game itself and uh, play that for a while. Typically, I'll play the game for about three hours, three hours or so. But tonight, I have a late start because my babysitting canceled, as I said on Twitter, which is why it's uh, nine o'clock now instead of seven o'clock when I usually do scotch and smoke rings. Uh, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to go tonight with Resident Evil 3, but I'll go until I'm tired. Bear in mind, however, that I do have a show tomorrow. Uh, the Witcher 3 tomorrow morning, so I am going to have to get some sleep. So I probably won't be able to go as late as I typically do on Scotch and Smoke Rings. Uh, okay, let's get uh, the chats up here. There's the Facebook chat. Where's the YouTube? Or er, there's the we'll YouTube go tonight chat. with Resident Evil Three. But I'll there's the Facebook chat. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Joey, David, Rob, and Charles, Matthew, Michael. BT, Robin, Kyle, and then Jocelyn Ryan on Facebook says, Evening Ox into all in chat with a 30-week stretch on fire of a donation of stars for 30 weeks each week. Jocelyn Ryan, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then um, uh, Matthew, Charles, and Peter, so good to see you all on Facebook today. My Facebook community is growing by leaps and bounds. I love to see it happen. And of course, it's wonderful to see all of the regulars, Patreon subscribers, members, and mods on YouTube today. Lunar Knox, John DeGian Berardino, Michael Mosky, Ethan H, Automatic Beats, Ashoal.com, Sean Fernango with a gold derby, Knight Paladin Eleanor, A Mike Laneberry, Mr. Truth, Craig Euler, Antonio, EWC Renegade, uh, Edward J. Laneberry, Deuteronomus with a gold derby, Danger Jim, Barry LeCount, Rachel with a gold derby. Uh, Alt Grendel, Sesh the Cat, Sean Fernango with a gold derby, Jessica Sharp. And then Ryder Wheeler says, Evening Ox, hello to all in chat and those who are staying sane with this awesome content. That's right. Thanks to all who are watching today. I hope my content can help you stay just a little bit sane in this crazy world. Quintaius upgraded his membership uh, to Gold Ox. Thank you very much, Quintaius. I do appreciate it. Vince M says, Good evening, Ox. Good evening, Vince M. Ryan says, I love watching your videos. It's the only thing 
thing that gets me through my work shift. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you very much, Ryan. I'm doing my best, and I plan to be here for the foreseeable future. Uh, Jeff says, what did the detective call his apartment complex? Sherlock Holmes. Uh, that would, I think that would be better for like, uh, uh, like a retirement complex, right? They're like, um, where do old police detectives go to retire? Sherlock Holmes or some, no, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you, Jeff. Jessica Sharp says, have you checked out the ABC murders on steam? You solve mysteries as Hercule Poirot. Uh, I have seen the preview. The problem is that I've watched the BBC version of Hercule Poirot uh, with David Suchet in the title role so many times that I think any game based on Agatha Christie's Hercule Poirot would be spoiled for me because I know all the cases like the back of my hand. Like the ABC Murders, for example, it's iconic. It's one of the best books she ever wrote. It's one of the best Hercule Poirot's mysteries that she ever did. And because of that, I've watched and rewatched that episode a dozen times. So if I were to play the game, it's, like, it's spoiled for me now. Like I know everything that's gonna happen in that story. So part of me doesn't really want, but with Sherlock Holmes, I, I haven't read all of the books. I haven't watched hardly any of the movies. I've maybe read, like, I, I read one anthology, one thick anthology of Sherlock Holmes on a plane once, and it had maybe three or four stories in it, but that's about it. So Sherlock Holmes isn't quite spoiled for me just yet, so I can play some Sherlock Holmes games. That's where my thinking is on that. Uh, Rockland F says, Resident Evil 3 won the slot. I really play this too. Uh, well, thank you, Rockland, and it did win the slot. Uh, Robin uh, Robin says, it's not 30 weeks, but it's still a decent streak. Love uh, you, Ox, looking good. Thank you, Robin, and this is her 28-week streak of being on fire with her star donations on Facebook. Thank you, Robin. And Anita on Facebook says, Hi, Ox, with a donation of stars. Thank you very much, Anita. And hi, back at you. Rockland F says, Oh my God, typos. I should play it. Here's more money. Oh, I see. He says, I really play this. T okay, he's, he was supposed to, he wanted to say, I should really play this too. Well, uh, thank you, Rockland, for paying me to, to correct your own mistake in the comments. You paid me to read. Uh, Wandering Paladin says, Hey, Oxhorn, I accidentally rubbed ketchup on my eyes. I now have Heinz sight. Oh. Jokes aside, I look forward to tonight's stream. I look forward to... <laughs> it's always the really, really stupid ones. Why? I rubbed ketchup on my eyes. Now I have Heinz sight. Jeez, man. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Page says, Hey, Ox, I found you by loving Fallout New Vegas. And as a Seattle native, I can say I love the videos. Well, thank you very much, Uncle Page. Uh, good to have another Seattle native in the chat today. Austin O says, Good evening, Oxhorn, my favorite streamer. I'm looking for a new game to play. What would be your current recommendation, my friend? Uh, Control. 2019's Control. Awesome game. It was like a sleeper hit. I, I don't know of very many other people besides myself who covered it in as much depth as I did. It was due to my love of playing Control uh, that I went on to play Alan Wake, all of the Alan Wakes and Alan Wake American Nightmare. Um, yeah, it was fun. It just everything about it. The story was great. The atmosphere, the setting, the graphics, the gameplay. Control. Rachel says, at 1.5 million subscribers, you should do a series. Promise is kept. Including the Cole Phelps character analysis, the caravan videos, and an office tour. See, this is why I shouldn't talk about plans. I, sh I just shouldn't. I should keep all my plans to myself. I should keep everything under my hat. Never let the audience know what I'm thinking. Because it's going to come back to haunt me two years later when I haven't done it yet. And bite me in the ass. Um, yeah, this is, the, this is what I'm living now. Uh, I'm living that, that nightmare. Well, Rachel... Uh, <laughs> At 1.5 million subscribers, maybe that would be a good opportunity for me to sit down and actually do the videos that I have hinted at 
that I might do in the future. Uh, great idea, Rachel. Alien Face says, you seem like a busy man. Do you ever get, uh, do you and the wife ever get alone time together? I know it's hard for me and the wife having kids and work. Also, I love your work. Keep it up. Cheers, my men. Um, well, thank you, Alien Face. Uh, something I haven't actually talked about on the program yet, but uh, last year, early last year, I, I actually divorced. Uh, it was a, a rough moment, but uh, something I got through. The kids still live here in the house with me. Uh, this is probably not a surprise to too many of you who have been watching, as I have been talking a lot about the babysitting issues that I have been having and having trouble finding uh, uh, finding uh, someone to watch the kids for this broadcast or that broadcast, and it's due to the major life changes that my family has gone through recently. Um, but I still uh, am able to keep on with the schedule, and the kids are going to school, and everyone's happy and healthy. But thank you very much uh, for your thoughts and your concern. Ryan says, why did the drummer roll his drums down the hill before the big show? Because he wanted a drum roll. Drum roll, please. Roll those drums down the hill. Thank you for that one, Ryan. Alt Grendel says, hey, Ox, I Googled how to light a cigar. I got 70 million matches. Well, I mean, that's a little bit. I mean, you, you could light 70 million cigars with 70 million matches. Uh, that's a bit overkill for just one cigar, don't you think? Sky Dixon on Facebook with a donation of stars. Thank you, Sky. Jeremy Gomes on Facebook with a donation of stars. Stars And Travis with a donation of stars. Very kind to all of you. And then Robin says, people are always giving you game recommendations, and I want to get in on this. Have you played Fallout? The whole franchise is great. You should get into it. It's really the only game I would ever recommend to anyone. Lol, I'm funny. Well, Robin, uh, I've heard of this Fallout game that you've mentioned, and uh, it, I have to admit it, it sounds interesting. Maybe I'll have to you know, dip my pinky toe into it in the near future. David Hill with a donation of stars. Thank you, David. And then Joshua on Facebook says, I was super hyped when you tweeted my Pip-Boy today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, so he, on Twitter, sent me a picture of the custom Pip-Boy that he painted and, uh, and put together. And it looks amazing. Uh, so check it out if you haven't already. Well done, Joshua. Travis and David, both with awesome donations of stars. Thank you so much. Um, Wormy says, how does Moses make his coffee? He brews it. He brews it. Painful. Ouch. By the way, I want to show you guys something. I have a new Fallout prop, and this one I, get, I got to put together myself. So for those of you who are fans of Fallout props, you'll really like this. I hope you recognize that this is, of course, a vial of Med-X. It even says Med-X there. But the reason that I'm really excited about this is it's it's one-to-one -one scale. It's true to form. Like, everything about it is as it would be in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. And it's um, got touches that you wouldn't normally see in a 3D printed object. So typically a 3D printed object is going to find a three-dimensional file and print it off. And then there were all of the scan lines on it and you got to go in and sand it. But this came in a number of different pieces. The, the vial in there is actually glass. That fluid in there, it actually sparkles. And it's because I put it together myself. So the kit that I got from the seller on Etsy came with a big bag of glitter and some sort of purple powder and instructions that I needed to find my own medium. And so I found a corn syrup, a really clear corn syrup from Japan, and mixed it in with the medium and filled the glass vial. So that's a real liquid in there. That's a real nail. And uh, they distressed it and they made it look really good. So I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out, and I enjoyed putting the kit together. That's my new prop, my new replica of Med-X from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76.
Josh Bunton in the chat today says, Woot, finally got my gold derby today. Uh, but Ox, at least do the caravan video at 1.5 million subscribers. And the other two at 1.75 and 2 million, respectively. Thank, uh, well, that's that's actually a really good idea. I could, uh, I could divvy that up a bit. Um, the caravan video, I think, would probably be the simpler of the other promised videos for me to do. Because uh, I've, I've, I've been thinking about Caravan, and I did a bunch of research into it, and I almost got it. I still haven't quite gotten it yet, but I think I'm close. I'm on the cusp of understanding it. The card games bother me. Like, I don't play Gwent in The Witcher 3, because that card game, I still don't get it. Like, I get the basic premise of it, but it's frustrating and annoying. And then I've played Caravan till I'm blue in the face, and, and I kind of get it. I kind of get it. But I still don't quite get it. So, so once I get it, I'll, I'll do my video explaining it. I'm basically having to, to like read explanation. There's a, a big explanation inside the main strategy guide for New Vegas. And also, there's a special deck of cards that came with the deluxe version of New Vegas, which you can't buy anymore in the shops, but I found a copy on um, eBay. And inside that deck of cards, there's an explanation on how to play Caravan. So I just need to go over those explanations and figure it out. And when done, I'll make my Caravan video. Uh, Douglas Delagarde uh, says, hello, Oxhorn and all in chat. Hey there, Douglas. So good to see you as always. And then Alien Face uh, says, whoop, and it flew off the screen. Whoa, there it goes. It uh, says, uh, I feel like a, a, an, an, an ass face now. Sorry, Ox, much love. Oh, alien face, don't worry about it. Um, I, when it comes to personal details of my life, I don't talk about them on Twitter or Facebook or any of my streams. I like to keep my worlds separate. My personal life, my family life is very separate from, um, uh, from my professional YouTuber life. So the fact that nobody knew uh, uh, about my my recent familial situation is not a surprise to me. It's nothing anybody should have been expected to know. So I'm not at all offended or upset by your, your question. Of course, it's a natural, very natural question for somebody to have. So please don't feel bad uh, at all. A very normal question. And it had to come out, right? I, mean, I was comfortable enough answering the question because I realized that the answer had to come out eventually and uh, might, as well, might as well be now, right? A, a, nearly a year later. <laughs> Edward J says, I thought about making a new condiment that was a mixture of ketchup and mustard, but then I decided the name Ketchtard would be pretty must up. The thing I like best about this is that every time I do scotch and smoke rings, I hear a new one. <laughs> Like it's, I, I hear a new dad joke. And I've been doing this show for almost 10 years now. And I'm still hearing new dad jokes every broadcast. <laughs> That's a new one. Thank you for that one, Edward. Kyle Warfield says, Resident Evil 3 pro uh, protagonist is the protagonist of Resident Evil 1. Umbrella tries to use the outbreak to silence her about the events of Resident Evil 1. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, well, I remember playing Resident Evil one years ago, but I don't exactly recall the plot of the game because it was so long ago. But I'll bear that in mind when we get into the gameplay later on. Vince M says, very sorry to hear that, Ox. I'm currently going through a divorce myself. I've been separated from my soon-to-be ex-wife for over a year. Hugs. Uh, it's a tough situation to go through. Um, hugs, hugs right back at you. Sorry that you're going through it as well, but there is light on the other side. And I hope you get there soon. Wraith the Mighty says, would you ever play Wizard 101? I love the game. Uh, well, I don't know enough about it. Let's uh, check it out. Uh, Wizard 101, a free wizard online game for kids? Okay. Well, um, you know what? I don't know if it's really my cup of tea. It may be a game that my kids would like, so maybe I'll introduce it to them later. 
but uh, just taking a look at some of the videos for it, it's probably not something I would play on the broadcast. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll play it with my kids. Uh, Mark says, been looking forward to your starting Resident Evil 3 for a while now. I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's get it, Mark and Gig Harbor. Thank you, Mark. I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm going to enjoy it as well. Ryan Hag says, uh, have you ever played Life is Strange? I haven't, but it's been recommended on the program multiple times. So it's, it's something I know I, I should probably do, but I haven't played it yet. No Name says, uh, so uh, about that Minesweeper swim, that's all you. Like, I've, I've never said I'm going to sit here and do a Minesweeper, No Name. Like, every time we, we start talking about a new game, you, you bring up Minesweeper. But just because you bring it up, and just because I put it on my list, doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I'm just saying, that has not been a promise that I ever said I was going to keep. Uh, I mean, I never made the promise e either. I'm not going to play Minesweeper on the stream. Edward J says, quick question. Was watching your Detroit human videos and was wondering if you ever went back and did the alternative paths. Uh, no, I never did. I was so depressed after the first ending that I got that it just sort of <laughs> robbed me of my desire to play it anymore. I would, I mean, you make one quick time mistake and the kid dies in the game. One quick time mistake and, and you kill the kid. Oh, that frustrated me. Now, Detroit Become Human, uh, very interesting game. The gameplay was, I don't know, wasn't quite as compelling as some of the other games that I've played. I think it was just all of the quick time events. But the story was great. The setting was great. Uh, for a Fire Fist Ace became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Fire Fist. Josh Bunton says, also, Ox, what was the drawing your daughter gave you the other day? Sorry if you already said what it was. No, I, uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Josh. So she, she had, she has been watching these YouTube videos of other kids making scary books to like, just, I don't know. It's like a meme or something where kids are just making scary drawings. And so she made this little flip book of, of a cat lady that, that starts killing people with a heart. But it's weird, like, the, she has half of an upside-down heart on her chest. And she kept on saying, no, that's half of a heart. And I'm like, well, they look like boobs. No, that's half of a heart. Well, okay, but it's half of an upside-down heart. It, it was weird. Like, she just, she just had this cat go and murder all these people. And she's like, and it wasn't even that. Like, she even had a cat decapitate somebody and then hold up its head. And I'm like, where are you getting this? I don't show her scary movies or scary games. And she's got this cat, this crazy cat lady with a heart decapitating people for fun. She's like, oh, it's so spooky. I'm like, yeah, well, that's, that's spooky. That's a spooky book. Uh, and then she gave it to me as a present, which I thought was really sweet. So I've got it around here somewhere. Uh, Josh Livingston says, hey, Ox, Dark Souls, get good. Uh, Resident Evil 3 is such a disappointment compared to 2, but it has its moments uh, talking remakes. Okay, gotcha, John. Well, I mean, I, you know, many other people have been really excited on Twitter, so we'll see what it's like when we get into it. Um, as for Dark Souls, I don't know. I don't know if I, if, if I could tackle Dark Souls. Maybe. Victoria Calendar says, Howdy Ox, looking forward to the stream. That medic's needle looks terrifyingly huge, by the way. Love it, yeah. That is definitely not something that uh, that heals up quickly. That's a giant nail is what that is. That's a huge nail. Lumen says, don't inject yourself with corn syrup. Don't worry, Lumen. It's not something I ever planned to do. Uh, then Theo Wilson says, I've been here since the days of Raffle Mao. Thank you for all of the content. Cyberpunk helped me cope with the shock of my own impending divorce. They ca it can come as a shock, and I'm sorry that you've got that looming in front of you. Uh, but you know what? Video games can... It, well, any sort of escapism can help in moments like that uh, until we can gather our, th our thoughts to move out the other side. And I'm glad Cyberpunk was there for you for that. Apocalypse Eternal says two jokes. Why couldn't the wizard focus? Because he had a dizzy spell. I started a business selling explosives. Business is booming. Love you, Ox. Thank you, Apocalypse Eternal. Love you as well. 
Uh, Robin on, on Facebook says, I'm very sorry to hear about uh, her law, about her loss. I'm officially proposing that fans now send you pickup lines along with your dad jokes. He, he, he. Sorry, not sorry. Man, man. Robin, I just, I just, <laughs> I just announced the divorce on this broadcast just now. Just like, just now. And you already, really? Wow. Okay, Rob. Look, let's not. Pickup lines, a dad joke's great. Pickup lines, I don't know. If they're really funny, maybe. If they're really funny, maybe. But I don't know. <laughs> Travis, Travis in the chat on Facebook with a donation of stars. Thank you very much, Travis and David. Also with a donation of stars. Wonderfully, wonderfully, uh, wonderfully kind for both of you. My God. All right. Uh, S, uh, with a donation, says, I was searching Google to see where horses live. Turns out it was in the neighborhood. Let's get the scotch. It's time for scotch. Cheers. Ah. And then Julian Z. Says, Ox, so good to see you. Hope you figured out the creepy drawings you showed last stream. When I saw it, I thought this is how horror movies start. Child drawings, creepy things. Ox, I'm dealing with a haunting in this house in the woods. Wow. Hopefully you can figure out the haunting. Uh, look, to make matters worse, not only is my daughter obsessed with drawing scary, creepy things, but she's taken to hiding around the house and jumping out and scaring everybody in the family. The nanny who works here, she's constantly being scared by my daughter. My daughter will hide in her bedroom in the hallway and then jump out and scare you. I was lying on the couch after dinner, just sort of resting my eyes, and she just... Jumped on my belly, just full up ran, used the coffee table to throw herself into the sky. And there's like out of a dub, like a wrestling movie, just, uh, just got right in the gut. And I'm like, ah, just, ah, just my daughter. She's got these, these violent tendencies and I am on the reciprocating end. Rachel says on my tombstone, please write not appreciating my puns when I was alive was a grave mistake. Same here. On my tombstone, write that. Metalhead10,000, uh, with a very generous donation, says, Hey, Oxhorn, been watching your Fallout 1 and 2 playthroughs. I don't have the equipment to play them myself, so you're a godsend. Many thanks. Um, thank you. And, you know, this is one of the things that I've been thinking. I'm so glad that I got my series on Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 done when I did. And I'm so glad I'm getting through tactics uh, now. Because, you know, as technology advances... Screen resolutions are going to go up. Computing power is going to get faster. It's We're going to get to a point where unless you have specialized equipment, you can't play any of these older games. And so the only way you're going to be able to enjoy them is by finding them in video form. And so I, I, I when I was doing my Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 series, I was partially telling a story. And I felt at the time that I was also par partially archiving it in some form so that the games could be enjoyed in the future. And that's kind of what I'm going through with Fallout Tactics right now because there are so many things that I'm discovering in the game files. Because Tactics was a bit of a bomb, it's not quite as covered as much as many of the other Fallout games. So there's less information on the wikis about it. There's less information on community forums about it. So I'm discovering things that I feel like, like people are discovering for the first time because I'm not finding it talked about anywhere else. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I'm really relishing about this new Fallout Tactics series is not only telling this, this really interesting story, but also sort of archiving the game. 
in a form that, you know, since many people can't play it now, and in 10 years, 20 years, maybe no one will be able to. Uh, Travis and David on Facebook with, the do with uh, star donations. Thank you. And then David says, Oxhorn, you do such incredible Fallout lore videos. Why not Elder Scrolls? You do an incredible job, and I'd absolutely love to watch. Thank you, David. You know, I, I, I played through the Elder Scrolls. I did a live stream of Skyrim um, years ago now, and I enjoyed it. But it, it didn't, the world and the setting didn't capture my imagination quite as much as the Adam Punk feel of the fallout universe and i think that's really the reason i i don't mind fantasy as a genre and in fact the earliest form of fiction i, I ever fell in love with was of course tolkien fantasy which i just i heavily got into and my ch entire childhood was dominated by tolkien but um for, and that's all that's also part of the reason why i'm i'm not quite as interested in skyrim it's that i kind of got my fantasy kick out by reading tolkien and everything after that just kind of pales in comparison to me, right? Or I feel like it's derivative. Like so much of the of the movies and the games that, and even D and D and other role playing games that I've played, have derived so much from the Tolkien vision of fantasy that it's kind of. This is one of the reasons why I didn't get into the whole World of Warcraft lore. Back when I did my World of Warcraft videos, I made videos, but they were personal machinima stories. It wasn't the lore of the Warcraft universe, and that's because the lore of the Warcraft universe didn't really interest me that much. It was kind of fantasy. P part of it was inspired by Tolkien, and then they made up their own stuff, and it just... It, it just, the, the worlds didn't really resonate with me. And when I played Skyrim, there were def definitely elements of it that were unique and interesting to me that, that I kind of was really interested in and wanted to learn more about. But I also saw echoes of Tolkien everywhere. And I'm, I kind of got my fantasy kick when I was a kid. But with uh, Fallout, I really hadn't re read any post-apocalyptic fiction or played any post-apocalyptic games before I played the Fallout games. So... Fallout is my Tolkien of post-apocalyptic fiction, right? It's my first love of post-apocalyptic fiction. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm really I'm digging the universe. But maybe someday I'll dive into the Elder Scrolls. Maybe someday. Uh, Robin on Facebook says, Do you have advanced radiation poisoning? Because you're absolutely glowing. Ah. Really do love you, Ox. Well, thank, thank you, Robin. That's a great pickup line. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to remember that. I'll have to, like, uh, get one of those, those dating apps and say, uh, Do you have advanced radiation poisoning? Because you're absolutely glowing. I'm sure that'll get me everywhere, Robin. Thank you for that one. Anita says, what did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. It just waved. I like it. And then Travis with a donation of stars on Facebook. Extremely kind, Travis. Uh, no Name says, what did baby corn say to mama corn? Where's popcorn? Of course. John de Giamberadino says, Hey there, Oxhorn. Thoughts on the f uh, Fuego Electric Cigar Lighter? Also, it's really awesome you opening up to us all. Cheers. No worries, my friend. You know, one of the reasons I haven't talked about it is because no one's really ever asked about my family situation yet until now. And I figure, well, might as well answer the question now. Fuego Electric Cigar Lighter. Whoa! Wow, a flameless cigar lighter. So it works like a cigarette lighter in a car, only it's much, much bigger. So you can light your, uh, light your cigars. Ooh. Oh, I think I have to have this. I, I don't have one, but man. No butane. No oil, no flammable oil. So it's not going to impart any sort of negative flavors to the cigar. It's just heated metal. Raw tobacco exposed to heated metal. Interesting. 
I'm saving that for later. Well, I'll tell you what, if I ever get it, then I'll give you my opinion on it. But so far, I am intrigued. Highlights HOF says, hey, love your Fallout videos. Keep up the great work. Any inside news on Bethesda games? Also, you should play Red Dead Redemption 2. Highlights HOF, I played Red Dead Redemption 2 already through the entire game, uh, beginning to end. I have it neatly organized in a playlist on my YouTube channel that you can go check out at any time. So if you like Red Dead, you should go watch that series. As for any inside news on Bethesda games, no, I don't. I'm not an insider. I don't have the ear of anyone at Bethesda. I find out Bethesda news when everybody else does. So, sorry. Edward J says, did you get the chance to check out Daymare yet? Just wondering. Uh, no, I think it's one of the games on my list. Daymare 1998, third person survival horror. Ooh. Video looks pretty compelling, adding it to the list. Kino says, what up, Ox? Been a while since I've caught you live. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you too, Kino. So good to have you on the program. Victoria says, also, why was the piano on the porch? Because I forgot its keys. More prop dollars. Thank you, Victoria. I'll take it. Jocelyn Ryan says, uh, may you live as long as you want and not want as long as you live. That's an Irish toast. Cinnamon, eggs, bread, and maple syrup. That's French toast. Oh, oh, great one, Jocelyn Ryan. That one deserves some rum and coke. Cheers. David Hill says, Oxhorn, I'm a big bourbon fan and cigar smoker. What's your favorite cigar brand? Um, well, for bourbon, I like Knob uh, Creek, Knob Creek, ten, uh, Kentucky bourbon. Uh, as for cigar brand, I really enjoy. Um, oh, what was the name? I forget. I must not enjoy it that much if I can't remember the name of it. I've smoked a couple of them recently on the broadcast. I forget. Anyway, my go-to cigar is um, La Aurora y Leon. Uh, this is the Corojo. It's got a tapered torpedo cut. And these are probably my favorite uh, La Auroras. Every now and then you'll get one that has been wrapped a bit too tightly. Like this one has been wrapped a bit too tightly. And uh, I had another one this week that was um, also a bit too tight. But aside from those occasional... Uh, ones, they smoke really smoothly. And they're affordable. Oh man, I'm really behind. Uh, Zedeka says, Oxhorn, you'd be the coolest DM ever playing d and I tried it when I was a kid. I, I used to be a DM occasionally. My brother played DM, Dungeon Master, for our D&D games more often than I did, though. Highlights HOF says you should play Red Dead Redemption 2. Love your lore. Thank you, Highlights uh, HOF. Uh, I think you probably wrote that after I answered your previous, your previous comment. Uh, but yeah, I've already done the entire Red Dead Redemption 2 game. And the series is available as a playlist on my channel. No Name says, I got carded at a liquor store and my Blockbuster card accidentally fell out. The cashier said, never mind. Of course. <laughs> Rockland F says, um, I admire you platonically. But wow, you're a single, single guy now. You have admirers. Oh my. Uh, Rockland, that's, that's very kind. I... I, I, I do appreciate it. I think that if and when I ever dip back into that sphere, I'll probably 
uh, swim in a different pool, so to speak. Ghost Whisperer of the Night says, Hey there, Rocks. Don't know if this has been mentioned mentioned yet, but Days Gone is coming to PC, supposedly. I hope you'll play it. Days Gone? We can add that one to our list. Um, hi Highlights HOF says, Do you have any inside info on Bethesda games that might be coming out? Also, your Fallout videos are amazing. Thanks, Highlights. Man, you really, really wanted your questions answered. Uh, sorry, it sometimes it takes me a while to get to your super chats as I've got a lot of them to get through. Um, but I, I do I do believe that I got to answering your questions. But thank you for that one, Highlights. Ryan Hag says, Would love to see you maybe play Bloodborne to see what you think. We can add it to the list. There we go. Uh, Josh Bunton says, Ox, it may be time to get uh, get her a cowbell to wear around the house <laughs> so that I know where she's coming. Um, <coughs> is, is, it, is it demeaning to put a cowbell around a kid? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, this is why we can't get surprised by the cat anymore because we put a little bell around the cat's collar so we know when he's sneaking up. And he has no idea why we always know when he's about to pounce. And we can always use a pillow to, like, bat him away or something. But, uh, yeah, maybe maybe I should find a, a cowbell for my daughter, I guess. Rachel says, how are you approaching tactics? Are you trying to rationalize the lore discrepancies or just accepting it as non-canon? It's a bit of both. We can't accept all of it as non-canon as canonical Fallout lore has made reference to it on a number of occasions, particularly in Fallout 3. Um, so we know it's canon, but we also know that it's partially uncanon, primarily due to an interview that uh, Todd Howard had with, I believe it was GameStop magazine during the uh, marketing of Fallout 3. Um, so the way I'm approaching it is it's all canon until it irre ir irrevocably contradicts established Fallout lore then it's not canon. Also, the things that that conflict with established Fallout lore, we can try to rationalize by looking at in a different light. For example, the biggest flaw that we come upon so far is at the very beginning of the game when established Midwestern chapter Brotherhood of Steel lore says that they came from a vault. Well, we know that they didn't come from a vault. However, they did come from a bunker. They went from the Mariposa military base, took an exodus north until they got to the Lost Hills bunker. So it could be that the details got lost during the journey from California to Chicago. And during that journey, the survivors of the Zeppelin crash simply forgot the difference between a vault and and a bunker. So maybe in their own lore, they're telling a story that they were vault dwellers, and they might even believe it, even though in reality, they didn't come from a vault. They came from the Lost Hills bunker. So, yes, I'm rationalizing, but it's consistent <laughs> if we think about it in that way. And so what I plan to do is, once I finish my tactic series, make a video where we talk about all of that. C.B. Duran Lopez says, Hey, Ox, want to give you an update about my book and Dorrance Publishing contacted me. Not thinking too much of it, but I am excited. I took your advice and also did a poor man's copyright. Uh, wish me luck. Good luck, C.B. Uh, I'm thrilled. You know, when I sat down to publish my book, it was exhausting, but also really rewarding to go through that process. And so I know that you're really in the weeds right now, going through the tough work, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really happy for you. Thank you for sharing your pro your progress with me, CB. Raging Gyrados says, There's an old robot fighting game for DOS called One Must Fall. Can't play it on modern PCs. It moves too fast. Right, I bet you the only way we would be able to enjoy it now is by watching old videos of it. Right? That's what I'm thinking of when it comes to, um, to some of these classic older games. Travis and David... On Facebook, with more tips. Very kind. Thank you, my friends. Ethan H. says, Previous Elder Scrolls games 
had a better aesthetic to them, in my opinion. Morrowind is almost apocalyptic. Certainly not traditional fantasy. You know, I actually played Morrowind when I was a kid in the 90s, right? That's the one that had the world editor. I remember Morrowind had a world editor. I think, I think it did. Bobby says, you drank some scotch. Now let's see a smoke ring. Glad to catch tonight's stream. I have to know, does your iconic bowler hat have a name? Much love. Uh, no, it, it doesn't have a name. You know what? Too many things are having names. People ask me to name my chair. People ask me to name my beard. Now, now you want me to name my hat. I, I, <laughs> I don't have a name for any of those things. I just, I just call it my hat. It's my show hat. All right, smoke ring. I can do that. There, got a couple of good ones out. Knight Paladin Eleanor says, <clears throat> You should watch Fudge Muppet's video on how deep is the Elder Scrolls lore. It's pretty deep, and it's something I'm very passionate about. Well, I'm excited, uh, I'm, I'm excited for you, Knight Paladin Eleanor. Fudge Muppet, they do wonderful videos about uh, character builds for Fallout and lore for the Elder Scrolls. So, you know, I think lore, it's pretty much well handled by those, those guys. Douglas Delagarde says, I think most of us would watch almost anything Oxhorn plays. Or is it just me, lol? <laughs> Douglas, that's very kind. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, you, I, I get pretty good uh, viewership from my live streams, though e every game is different. I, I've discovered that my audience really enjoys horror games because my viewership for Scotch and Smoke Rings is uh, oftentimes much better than my morning streams where I play uh, RPGs. Uh, that Colin guy says, nerd joke, what did Yoda from Star Wars say after seeing himself on Blu-ray? HDMI? Cheers, Ox. What did Yoda from Star Wars say after seeing himself on Blu-ray? HDMI? HDMI? It took me a moment. It took me a moment. I'm like, HDMI? Is that part of the... Is that Was that part of it? I turned, And then I'm like, HDMI? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, that Colin guy. Man. Took me a while, but I finally got there in the end. <laughs> oh. You guys are awesome. Okay, um, Lane Bear, <laughs> it's going to take me a while to recover now. Thanks, nerd guy, or that Colin guy. <laughs> Lane Berry with a tip, thank you. And then Michael Mosky says, Evening Ox, I know you get a ton of game requests. However, have you heard of Atomic Hearts? It's like Bioshock meets Doom meets a little Fallout. Atomic Hearts, I'm not familiar. Atomic Hearts is an open-world action RPG, events of which unfolds in an alternative universe during the high noon of the Soviet Union. Whoa. It's not released yet. Interesting. It's not released yet. I'll have to take a look at it when it is, but so far the videos look really interesting about it. Thank you, David Hill, with another donation on Facebook. So kind. 
Uh, and then uh, Jocelyn Ryan says, so is the Nuka Cranberry officially in the mail now? Looks like I'm joining the Enabler Club with the prop addiction. Thank you, Jocelyn. It's not in the mail yet because I actually haven't found a good reproduction yet. However, when I do, yeah, it'll. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, Ghost Whisperer of the Night says, Hey, Oxhorn, how does V from Cyberpunk 2077 flirt? He says, I put the V in Valentine's Day. That's, you know, I, I, honestly, I, I don't think that would get him very far. If that was really how V flirted, I, I don't think that would work very well for him or her. But, uh, hey, it's worth a shot. Thank you for that one, Ghost Whisper. Most Deaf says, what do you think about Assassin's Creed Odyssey for Mondays? I can keep giving you super chats instead of feeding my kids. They live off of Fortnite anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Ox, you're the best. Oh, that's wonderful. Make me feel guilty for accepting your super chats because now I know that your children are starving. Um, yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, maybe that's been recommended on a number of occasions. Um, maybe. I'll have to look into it. John Goo says it could be a language thing. Bunker could mean vault to the locals like soda and pop and soda pop. Yeah. Uh, another wonderful explanation. Although they very specifically are mentioning the vault tech vaults. They don't mention vault tech, the company by name, but they do say that they were pre-war vaults to house America's best and brightest in case of a nuclear apocalypse. And they even mentioned the vault tech network. Uh, so I think they were, they were pretty much confused. They got their lore confused. Um, Dragon Universe says, what gave you, you the idea for Oxhorn name for videos? Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a boring story, really. I, I had a character. So I used to play this game called Dark Age of Camelot. And in that game, I had a character who could turn into a giant stag. And he had a big spear, and he ran around stabbing bad guys, and he was a giant stag. Well, then World of Warcraft came out, and on day one of World of Warcraft, I changed. I switched from Dark Age to World of Warcraft. And the closest thing they had to a giant stag character was, of course, the Tauren, the race of oxen-like creatures. So since my stag character in Dark Age was named Staghorn, my ox character in Warcraft was named Oxhorn. And it just so happened that the first videos I ever started producing were set in World of Warcraft. So I simply took the name of my character, Oxhorn. And it stuck. That's what it is to this day. The legendary Bug King says, Yo, Oxhorn, love your vids. I've been watching for a long time. A game suggestion I have is Generation Zero. Generation Zero. Open world action game. All right, we can add that to the list as well. Thank you for that one, Dragon Universe. The Legendary Bug King. Oh, no, that. Oh, thank you for that one, The Legendary Bug King. Sorry, I got the wrong names. Rockland F says, AC Odyssey had a good story, and the female protagonist acting was great. Gorgeous world, great build tree, and enough Greek lore to choke a kraken. You know what? I, I do love my Greek lore. I studied Greek mythology and uh, Greek uh, history in college, so maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should do that. It's probably right up my alley. Thank you for that one, Rockland. HD, am I? Jamin Cohen says, uh, "Hey, I have some suggestions for games." Fear and its expansion, ex or ex its expansion extraction point. All right, fear extraction point. Thief, Deadly Shadows. Thief, Deadly Shadows, Deus Ex, Human Revelation, Re Revolution. That's already on my list, and the Stanley Parable. That's also already on my list. Uh, I'm waiting for the. Uh, the remastered version of Stanley Parable to come out later this year? Or did they put it out next year? 
Did they postpone it to next year? I forget. But they're doing a remastered version of the Stanley Parable, and I'm waiting for that before I cover it. But thank you, Jamin. And Travis on Facebook with a donation of stars. Thank you very much, Travis. David Hill says, has every, anyone ever told you how much you sound like Tom Hanks? It's cool how much you sound like him. I have been told that before, and it's weird because I had never been told that before until I started streaming. So I don't know if it's just like an accent. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so I don't know if it's just an accent thing or what. After all, I am from Seattle on the West Coast. And he lives in Hollywood on the West Coast. So maybe it's just a West Coast accent that you're picking up. But I'm not sure. But yes, I have heard that before, that I sound like Tom Hanks. Edward J says, here's a joke. My girlfriend just broke up with me for talking about video games too much. What a stupid thing to fall out for. Uh, yes, I would agree that would be a stupid thing to fall out for. Uh, Dave SC says, the first three Mass Effect games are getting a remaster March 14th. Oh, is it March 14th? Really? Oh, wow, that's coming up fast. I kept on thinking, oh, yeah, the remastered Mass Effects. Those are, th th those are coming out later, and I can keep pushing that one. But no, those, those are coming up pretty fast. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, have to, maybe I'll have to bump those up. All right, thank you for that one. The Nick says, hey, Oxhorn, watching it with my puppy Ellie. She's a two-month-old Australian Shepherd. Oh, I bet she's adorable. Well, hi there, both Nick and Ellie. So glad you made it to the program. Uh, then Travis with a donation says, you sound more like Jack Black. That's another one. I get Jack Black as well. I mean, I can't, I can't sing like Jack ba Black. Doom. Deep. Shooby doop doop deep. Doop a flicky dig it. A flicky dig it. Ba doo 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 doop. I will love it a bit. This is just a tribute. You gotta believe me. And I wish you were there. Just a matter of opinion. Yeah, I can't. <clears throat> but I have been told that I that I sound like Jack Black as well. Sarah R says, thoughts on the new Lord of the Rings Amazon TV thing? Cheers. What? God, you're kidding me. There's going to be an Amazon Lord of the Rings show? Amazon's Lord of the Rings. Upcoming television series produced based on the novel. Set in the second age of Middle Earth before the events of the Lord of the Rings novel and films. What? What? They're making a new story set before the events of the novel in the same universe. Normally, normally I'm not opposed to this sort of thing. Like, like in video games, I enjoy prequels and sequels. Um, I even don't mind a little, you know, creative interpretation of established events. But for Tolkien, nah. The only person who can tell a Tolkien story is someone with the last name Tolkien. J.R.R. Tolkien or Christopher Tolkien. One or two of those. Anyone else trying to tell a unique story in the in the Tolkien universe? No. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm not going to watch it. I know that that's very short-sighted of me and close-minded. I get it. But I'm sorry if I feel protective over the whole Tolkien thing. It was my first love of fiction. Tolkien was my first love of fiction. That was my childhood, watching or reading all of the Tolkien stuff. Uh, no, no one else can tell a, tell a, a Tolkien story, but a Tolkien, in my opinion. And that's just me. 
Wow, I'm really depressed now that they're actually going through with this. Metalhead says a man walks into a bar and sees a drunk dog with his tongue hanging out. He asks a bartender, what's up with that guy? The bartender says, there's a man who can't hold his liquor. Ugh. Thank you, Metalhead. Wandering Paladin says Amazon's Lord of the Rings is supposed to be a Game of Thrones show. Why? Why? I mean, it's like Tolkien would have never wanted that, man. Like, he would have never wanted his universe to turn into like this scintillating, sexy empires versus empires, you know, sex and blood show. Because that's what Game of Thrones was, right? And I didn't get into Game of Thrones for that very reason. And now they're going to do it to Lord of the Rings? This has just ruined my day. Oh. Brett Bus says, it's because you have a clear and crisp voice, just like Jack Black and Tom Hanks. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate it. And then Max Stegman says, Hey, Axor, nice to see you streaming again. I hope you've been doing well. I love your Fallout Story videos. Love from Denmark. I have been doing well. Thank you, my friend. And I'm glad that I'm live in Denmark right now. Durag says, Watch The Mandalorian at all? I watched a few episodes of The Mandalorian, and I liked what I saw. I was pretty impressed by it. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, but what I saw of The Mandalorian was great. Apocalypse Eternal says, would you ever consider playing the Batman Arkham series and the Batman Telltale series? I highly recommend them. They're very good games. Maybe. I have them on my list, but I don't really do a lot of superhero games on the program. Rockland F says, what if it's just the Silmarillion? No, it's, he, he, it's not the Salmarillion. It's the Silmarillion, Rockland F. Uh... What if it's just the Salmer, the Silmarillion? I mean, if they're faithful to the books, okay. But if they're trying to turn Lord of the Rings into Game of Thrones, no. No. If they're faithful to the Silmarillion, then sure. But if they just try and turn it into, into Game of Thrones, I'm done. Sarah R says you don't trust Jeff Bezos' writing. Lol, I'm sorry. Well, thankfully, I doubt Jeff Bezos would be would be involved in the production of that. But no, I wouldn't trust his writing. Julian Z says, Oh my God, Ox, I didn't know the Mass Effect remaster came out so soon. I hope you decided to play it. And if you do, I hope it pulls you in like Andro unlike Andromeda. Maybe. Well, I mean, if it's coming that soon, I'll definitely have to check it out. <laughs> Salati Bartfest says, My granddad used to say... When one door closes, another opens. Lovely guy, my granddad, terrible carpenter. Thank you for that one, Slatty Bardfest. <laughs> uh, Jocelyn Ryan says, Now, if only there was a Lord of the Rings Broadway edition. Joking. Joking, Ox. Oh, Lord of the Re Rings, Broadway. The One Ring, the One Ring, the One Ring. Oh, I don't think I could stand it. Oh. Uh, I can't remember the name of the band. The Bard Song. Now you all know. Blind Guardian. Blind Guardian is the musical interpretation of the Lord of the Rings that I'll ever need. I don't need anyone else to sing Lord of the Rings but Blind Guardian. They, they did it the right way the first time. Now you all know the bards and their songs. They did it right. Blind Guardian. Natrium says, I love your character study videos. Your logic is very reminiscent of C.S. Lewis. Oh, I can't tell you how uh, honored I am to hear you say that. Did you read a lot of him, or do you get <clears throat> any of that from Tolkien? I hear the two of them were friends. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis were my childhood heroes, uh, them alongside G.K. Chesterton, though less so on Chesterton's part. Um, his, uh, his writing was a bit too cerebral for me at the time, though I, I've, I've more recently uh, begun to enjoy what he had to write. 
But Lewis just had a no-nonsense, plain language, straightforward, uh, straightforward way of expressing his opinions that I greatly admired and respected. And um, I'm surprised. <clears throat> I'm surprised that you would that you would see him in um, the writing that I've done. So I'm really flattered. Thank you for that one, Natrium. Alien Face says, I'm halfway in the Silmarillion. It's pretty amazing. My older brother got me into it when I was young. Yeah, it. Um, I, lo I like the Silmarillion even more than the Lord of the Rings. I loved the Lord of the Rings. I, I read the Lord of the Rings first. Loved it. Then I read The Hobbit. It was okay. I, I still like it, but I didn't like it as well as the Lord of the Rings. Then I got to the Silmarillion. And it just changed me. I had never read anything like it before. It's what made me interested in history, really. The reason I got my, the, my degree in history is probably because I read Tolkien's The Silmarillion, because I just wanted to know old stories and ancient tales. And then, of course, I got to read Thucydides in his history of the Peloponnesian War when I was in college. And... Uh, Man, if you ever have an opportunity, if you ever want to just sit and read history and you want it in a way that's understandable and it's readable, get, a, get yourself a copy of Landmark Thucydides. I love it. I still have my Landmark Thucydides and thumb through it every now and then. It's just, um, you read something like that and you realize that people haven't changed. Like we're, we're the exact same people who were, you know, sailing around in triremes in the Aegean Sea, you know, thousands of years ago. We haven't changed at all. Um, Julian Z says, uh, Ox, it's okay. We all have our must be pure thing. I'm normally not sympathetic with purists at all when it comes to lore or politics or anything like that. But doggone it, it's Tolkien, man. You can't adulterate Tolkien like that. Uh, Max Stegman says, fun fact, my mom got me into Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, The Hobbit, Star Trek, and Harry Potter. I had a fun childhood. Yeah, it sounds like you did. All wonderful. Harry Potter, I'm, you know, I'm, on, it's all right. I saw a few of the movies. It was all right. Uh, Star Wars, same thing. I saw the old movies, and then I saw the Phantom Menace, and after that, I kind of lost interest. Star Trek, I was really into Star Trek as a kid. Next Generation. I was into Next Generation. Saw a few episodes of Deep Space Nine. It was okay. Watched maybe the first few episodes of Voyager. Then I kind of lost interest. But I, I still love the Next Gen. And I watched a number of the original uh, episodes. And they were pretty good. As dated as they were, they were still pretty good. But yeah, it sounds like you had a great childhood. The Only Mexican uh, became a bronze ox. Thank you very much, The Only. And then Jeff Lampier says, if you want funny Lord of the Rings music, look, look up Leonard Nimoy's Ballad of Bilbo Baggins. Oh, I know it. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. Greatest little hobbit of them all. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, well, it happened. <laughs> that it did. Chivalry the Hero says, they filmed an entire season for the Lord of the Rings show. Had the best Tolkien expert. Then... They scrapped the show, fired all the actors and experts, and restarted over. Oh, of course. Of course they did. Why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. Of course that's going to happen. Of course they're going to find somebody who wants to be faithful to the source text. And then they fire them after spending millions of dollars, I bet. Of course. Lumen says, I feel the same way about Lovecraft. Almost no one does Lovecraft horror right. It's atmosphere and your sense of senses betraying you, not the monsters. You know, I believe you. I mean, I've heard great things about Lovecraft. I haven't read any Lovecraft. When I've played Lovecraftian games, they've always been meh. Call of Cthulhu streamed it live on the program. Meh, it was okay. The Sunken City streamed it live here on the program. Eh, it was all right, you know. Um, and yet there's still this huge rabid fan base for Lovecraft and it's probably because no one can do Lovecraft the way Lovecraft could, right? I get it. 
Toxic Sean says, Hi, Oxhorn. I'm going to have dinner with the family now. I'll rewatch the stream from the start when I return. I hope you and the chat are well. Drink up. Thank you, my friend. I am doing well, and we need to get to the game, don't we? Max Stegman says, It was Star Trek The Next Generation she showed me, and she read the Harry Potter books for me as a kid and showed me all of the old Star Wars movies. Awesome. Sounds like you had an awesome mom. All right. I need to get to the game. Right. <clears throat> Lights out. Thank you for the donation, Soul Hunter. I do appreciate it. All right, let's turn this thing on. Here we go. Story, new game. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's always the big question, huh? Um, let's go standard. Let's go standard for now. pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious yet. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern Officials region of the can't U.S. Say. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Of course, Umbrella, of course. Man, probably not the best time in human history to be playing a game about a pandemic. Mr. Dog Gaming says, Are you planning to play Resident Evil Village, Ox? I am. for bioweapon codename Nemesis? Is that what that was? Alright, so what did we see? Umbrella was doing experiments on some sort of huge creature. Kind of looked like a super mutant. I'm in control. Ooh, everything seems really close up. 
All right, uh, fashion posters on the wall. Does that mean we've got a teenager here? Nope, that's a beer bottle. So not a teenager. Well, may maybe it is. Maybe it is a teenager. <laughs> the Daily Raccoon. Oh, a, a reporter. Maybe this is a reporter. Or a cop. Is that a picture of her squad? Oh, wow. Yeah. Not. Okay, this is. This is a detective. Can we read any of this? No. Oh. That was creepy. Nice touch. Okay, so door there to the bathroom. See if there's anything else we can interact with before we go into the bathroom. And it doesn't look like it. So to the bathroom we go. Holly Phelps says, there is a Lord of the Rings musical. Mostly a flop, but a couple of good songs. Maybe don't watch the staged version. It's interesting. You're kidding me. There, there's a Lord of the Ring musical? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. The only Lord of the Rings inspired music I'll listen to is Blind Guardian, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, so there's our character. 20-somethings, or a 20-something uh, detective or reporter, looks like. Ooh. Oh! Ooh, she's done. She got bit. Ooh. Yep, you got to do it. It's the only solution. Edward J says, you're playing as Jill, one of the stars officers. Raging Gyrodos says, I think it's Jill, it's Ox. Every night. Okay, am I supposed to know who Jill is? Was she in Resident Evil 1? If so, it's been so long that I don't remember. I do understand stars, however, so that makes sense. What's this? Worst month of my life. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Escape RC... That must be Raccoon City. Oh, it's the same apartment. Uh, did, did the lights just go out? No. Oh, and there's her research. Oh, and we can touch it. Here we go. Jill's report. September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Oh, that's new. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. 
As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. So she's... Whoa, rumble. She's not discounting the possibility that she's infected as well. Man, that was a nice touch. The letters all shake due to the rumble. What's this? Investigation notes. Oh, Dave says the Mass Effect remaster is in May, not March. My bad. Okay, that gives me a bit more time. Thank you for that one, Dave. Error 404, gamer not found, says what kind of music do chiropractors like? Hip hop. Uh, really? Really, man? Uh, that's just bad. <laughs> Josh Bunton says, Ox, she is neither. She is part of STARS, a special tactics and rescue services, and is suffering PTSD from the mansion incident. Okay, I see. Thank you for that one, Josh. Brett Buss says Jill is one member of the STARS team that went to the mansion in Resident Evil 1. She was the protagonist of the game. I see. Thank you for that one, Brett. Matt says, how do you keep your beard looking that good? I want to have a beard like yours. Thanks. I wish I had a secret to share, but I really don't. It's kind of mostly genetics. Uh, Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share. Focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office. Effectively controls the city. Ooh, we recognize her. Right. Lots of pills and nasal sprays, my goodness. Yep, there's her badge. Okay. Error 404, Gamer Not Found says, stop looking for the perfect match. Use a lighter. Makes sense. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24 seven. Are they irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Was that a letter she was going to send, or is it a letter that was sent to her? Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullcrap. He had a pit of metal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. Or of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. 
Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Aw, looks like she did. Wait, Mega Meat? Those look like pickles. Ew. No, that's jal it's jalapenos. It's peppers. That's what it is, peppers. I've never been, been a fan of peppers on a pizza. Well, her apartment certainly is lived in. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> I can't do anything else. That's it. All right. Well, if it's anything like the dream, something's going to happen when I look in the mirror. So I better look around now before I do. Nope. Oh, it's so dark. John Fernando says, I think one of the most famous quotes from Resident Evil 1 was, you almost became a Jill sandwich. Was that a quote from Resident Evil 1? Era 404 Gamer Not Found says, What do you call a fibbing cat? September 28th, 8 p.m., Raccoon, Raccoon City. Who could that be? A lion. A fibbing cat. A lion. He's a lion. Thank you, Era 404. Anita says, Two guys walk into a come. bar. The third guy ducks. Thank you, Anita. All right, telephone. Just a sec. Where's the telephone? Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Whoa! Ooh. Is that Mr. X? No, that's something else. God, what? Ooh. Nasty guy. Stop wasting your ammo, Jill. <laughs> Oh, I guess it's me now. It's me. I gotta run. Oh, I don't have time to look for lore. I gotta get out of here. Wait, do I have time to look for lore? What happens if I just hang around here? Looks like I have time. Matt says, how's the fam? Cheers. Hopes to see some smoke rings tonight. Fam's doing great. Here's a smoke ring. Josh Bunton says, Ox, that's Mr. X's beefier brother. No, oh, he looks like it. God. What the hell? He looks terrifying. Ooh. Let's look around. Whoa. Let's 
Sigourney? Is that an aliens reference? No way. What does it say on that billboard? Is that Ralph London? Oh, I gotta get I gotta get a close-up on that. Oh, that's a dead body! Ooh, we got people dead. Come on, really? Oh, what? Why is it always tentacles, man? Oh, God. Yeah, now. Run. Run away. Avoid the tentacles. Ooh. What was that? Is that it? What even happened? I missed that. Was that a gas explosion or did he punch us or something? Uh, Dave SC says she looks like Judy from Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, kinda. She has a similar haircut. Not quite shaved on the side of her, of her head though. Ah, this guy! He's just playing peekaboo with her. Ooh. Oh! Can I die here? Oh, she's limping. Yikes. What the fuck? Objective, get out of town. Well, she wanted to leave Raccoon City anyway. I bet you Umbrella sent him after her. That's why Brad knew ahead of time and called her. Jill? Brad. Over here. Brad. Oh, Brad. Hey, Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Damn if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Like on steroids. Wow, this place looks so cool. I want to read every sign. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Damn it! Command Team Mars, Charles off duty. Looks like Ralph London. Hey, Air Combat 1942, that's a top gun reference. Bad luck game, time to get started. Disaster, hunt for the missing ship. So one's a Top Gun reference. Is that Vanilla Sky? Is that a Vanilla Sky reference? Or is that Val Kilmer? Maybe it's not Ralph London, maybe that's Val Kilmer. What's this? This logo. Umbrella. Disaster is aliens, right? That's an aliens reference, right? Aliens, Top Gun. I should know that one. It's not Vanilla Sky. It's all 90s flicks. <laughs> She's just standing next to the fence. There's so many. Oh, crap. 
Oh, hey. Rad. Yeah, let's go in the pub. <clears throat> to the Winchester. Door behind you. Go. Oh, Brad's going to get his toast. You're done for, Brad. Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Yeah. Oh, Brad. I'm sorry, Brad. Well, he entered the plot and left it very quickly. Mega Gamer says this game alone is okay, but as a remake, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start, so I hope you look up under the Mayo's review. He is a YouTuber. Well, I come from the benefit of having never played the original, so I'll judge the remake as a standalone game, and then afterwards we can watch the the review by Under Mayo to see how it stands up to the original. But that felt like a Shaun of the Dead reference. Let's go to the pub. And of course, the party is smaller after they leave the pub. Vanilla Ice. Looks good to me, says, I think you meant Vanilla Ice. Yeah, maybe I did mean Vanilla Ice. Ooh, is this guy gonna get up and... Can I take his gun? Yeah. Sorry. Please tell me they're freaking easier to kill in this game than the last one. God, in the last game, you just couldn't. <laughs> oh, do we go under? Yep, we go under. In the last one, you just couldn't kill zombies. You had to avoid them. Well, I'm out of ammo. I've got one shot left. Says who? Maybe he's got some wisdom there. Maybe he'll survive to fight another day. I need to find some healing herbs or... Do, do they do... Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Okay. You can sit there and rot, buddy. Have a good life. Oh, yes. Handgun ammo. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot about the awful Resident Evil inventory. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, man. How many slots do I have? I've got eight slots. Jeez. Is it the same? Space is dodge. How do I... Okay, so I, I switch weapons in this game. Instead of holding shift and left click, you actually have to switch to the knife to use it. Okay. Hope that gate doesn't fall or break on me or something. I've got like six shots. Sorry, guys, I didn't pay you enough for this. Oh. Oh, he's a zombie. Shit. Uh, 
come get me and oh! crap so I don't get it if Brad gets bit once he's done he's gonna turn into a zombie But if Jill gets bit, she's gonna be okay. Public market? That looks like a Pike's Place Market sign. Yeah, they just jacked that from Seattle. Maybe Raccoon City is a hodgepodge of uh, famous landmarks from... No! <laughs> oh no! It's big boy! Hey, out buddy. Of course, he's walking menacingly slowly. Turn, Instead of running like he totally could do, he's just gonna walk slowly. It's my turn, bitch! <laughs> I'm holding! Oh! oh, the airbags didn't deploy. Oh, someone's getting sued. The Dungeoneer says it's just a game mechanic. Canonically, none of the main characters get bit. That makes sense. Thank you, the Dungeoneer. He's even on fire. This guy's not even afraid of fire. Oh, I'm boned. I'm done! Hey! Fuck me! Ooh. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Rocket to the face! Hey, easy, lady. I got you. Who's this Who guy? Are you? What are you doing? Carlos. Now I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. So clearly, Mr. X here is not dead. He's just stunned. Achievement unlocked. Somebody to lean on. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. OK, I get it. Let's go. Uh, why does this guy have an umbrella oh, logo on, on his it's shirt? Shit to close this. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? They weren't extinct. Only sleeping. Tyrant of the deep. Hell Squid Zero. <laughs> the Hell Squid's origins revealed. Oh, these are great. I want to watch all of these. This is going to be my favorite part of the game, just looking at all of the movie posters. Skull Stalker, adrift in space. Skull Stalker, on the red planet. Terminator? Terminator reference there? What's this? Sudden death bowling. The strongest fear comes October 25th. No one spares in this game. <laughs> Devil's ball of fear. Then Wolf of the Battlefield. The way to victory. It's got to be a reference to a movie that I just don't, I can't place right now. Time to get started. Who wants the first ticket to hell? Bad luck game. And then that's the aliens reference. Disaster. Hunt for the missing ship. Sigourney Weaver. There's Top Gun. Air Combat 1942. And then Mars Carlisle's off duty. Oh, it's big. Uh, Bueller's Day Off. 
Command Team Mars Carlisle's off duty. Looks like this will be the worst vacation ever. That looks like Val Kilmer, and it's a Ferris Bueller's Day Off reference, isn't it? Love it. All right, so why is this guy? I've never seen anything like it, but it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No, thanks. He's all yours. This guy's got a lot of chauvinistic... So far, he's, he's a bit of a chauvinist. Uh, why has he got an Umbrella logo on his shoulder? Is he from Umbrella? I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? We're just here to help you. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Crimson Angel. It's this way. Crimson Angel Wings says, say hello to Carlos. His hair totally makes up for Leon's. Don't tell me we get to play that guy. Do we get to play that guy? Because I don't like his hair. His hair's a big mess. If I get the chance, I'm changing that hair as soon as I... I don't understand why all the male protagonists in these games have awful haircuts. Leon's was awful with the Jonathan Taylor Thomas hair. Dino bites. So tasty, they might go extinct. <laughs> Red and yellow. That's M&M's. Be sure to brush your teeth after eating. Oh, yes. Lobster, gyms, crabs. Try our special lobster menu. Only available September 1st to 31st. Will robots surpass humanity? Science Forum. Think about the 21st century. Cool. Traditional Japanese restaurant. Party, party, party. Hey, let's play with me. No thanks, creepy clown. Jeez. Astro Crunch. Oh, that's up my alley. Blast off every morning, Space Kids, for cadets of all ages. Freak Cinema, 1998. Big E, back home for one night only, featuring several special guests. The band, comic books, Mega Man. They could actually say Mega Man without like copyright infringement. Living corpses. I'll never give in. The Great Gladiator versus the Executioner. Fighting story. Way of the strongest. Untold tales featuring the reptilian. Horror movie classes. Zombies. They come to town. Then find the treasure of Captain Roger. Piracy under the waves. All right, mop head. I'm coming. Look at his hair. Well, wow, they really don't want me to point a gun at this guy. I can't do it anymore. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Bill? Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of... RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. I mean, it looks great. great. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. 
My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Why are they all so immature? Sarcastic and immature. I know what a radio is. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I will miss. So is Umbrella the good guys in this game? They're trying to rectify their mistake? I don't know enough about uh, Resident Evil lore to be able to understand all the finer details of what's going on. What's this? New location in downtown Raccoon City. Our prices are out of this world. Ooh, they've got quite an advertising budget to have so many posters on the subway station or the subway train. Okay, upstairs, they said. Need to gear up? Sure. No, says chat. They're not the good guys in this game? Okay. DJ Ever section. E evisceration says, you'll see what they're really up to. Okay, that's what I thought. I was going to say. Umbrella's the good guys, really? Readable. Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the Raccoon Police Department to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpses of a or corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man stick? Oh, I want to slap this journalist. Who wrote this? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. God. I hate the news. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Objective, reactivate power at the substation. Okay. Hey, I know what this means. Whoops. Control is the map. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. Great. Control is the map. Well, then what's crouch? C? No, it's not C. Red herb.
I guess I don't crouch in this game. Simple lock. Can I pick it with a knife? Nope. All right, so I need to find a lock pick. Edward J says, Ox, be sure to loot everything or to look for everything before turning the power on. You don't need to tell me twice. That I will do. What is this? Kite Brothers Railway. Okay, so it's a puzzle. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Presented to Kite Brothers Railway, St. Michael's Clock Tower. Oh, Clock Tower Commemoration. All right, so I need to find a key. Hey, save point, yeah. Dash. Great. UBCS Herb Field Manual. All right. There's no place in the UCPS for pib squeaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? <laughs> Go someplace else. The writing in this game is hilarious. In, the, in all of the Resident Evil games, the writing is ridiculous. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds. <laughs> so get these recipes memorized. High potency mixture, two green herbs. Maximum potency mixture, a green herb plus a red herb, or three green herbs. So no blue herbs in this game. First aid spray. Can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them. That should do it. Now let's get this done, and then go grab a beer. Because that's what we do in the special forces. In the big leagues, we mix drugs, and then go grab a beer. Okay, so I need a key for the chest, and I need a key for this uh, clock dial thing. Okay, more survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Probably don't want to go down this alley, do I? Oh yeah, I do. So that's two locks that I need to pick. Hey guys, how you feeling? Oh. Some items can be combined. I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Wow. The Carlos really is an asshole, isn't he? 
surely a tall drink of water like you can put on some place. Who talks like that? <laughs> Gotta put this out. Right. Uh, okay, I need a monkey wrench or something. Should have done that sooner. I didn't realize that was an explosive barrel. Cool. All right, I know I can go down that new path that is open before me. Just check in here real quick. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. So I need some uh, uh, chain cutters for that one. Oh God. All right, can I make ammo? Gunpowder, gunpowder, gunpowder. Okay. The poor dad says, love you, Ox. You watching WandaVision tonight? You know what? I, uh, I haven't watched any WandaVision, but everything I've seen about it makes me think it's exactly the kind of show I would love. So a door down there. More green herbs. Should probably combine it. Okay. Looks like I'm not at my best, but I'll wait till I'm red. ladder down. All right, I should probably go check that door first before I go down the ladder, huh? Oh, there's her flashlight. Drugstore Owner's Journal, August 24th. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all of this cash that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code. Not even my wife. 
It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen, and she'd never give it up for a thief. Oh, brilliant. Let's tell the world what the secret is by giving a clear hint. Oh. Aqua Cure Qu Queen. All right, Aqua Cure Queen. So I'm thinking a, a, a mascot poster. Which way was the right way? This just leads back down here. Alright, so Aqua Cure, Aqua Cure, what's an Aqua Cure? Well, maybe we won't find it in here. I'm still yellow. How many stabs does it take to kill these guys? How do you know when they're dead? Still yellow. Christina says it's 2.15 a.m. here. Enjoyed the stream. Good night, Ox. Good night, Christina. Thank you so much. I don't know how many how many attacks it takes to kill him. Fire hose. Crap. All right, well, I have what I need to turn off the water. But I think we have many more puzzles here. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. 
That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Okay. Shotgun. Love it. Let's see if we can find something to cut the chain. Ugh, oh, there's the shotgun. <laughs> oh, I gotta find some chain cutters. All right. Well, probably not gonna be in here. I got it. Oh my god. Using key items. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then the use command. Can I use... Nope, I can't use that. Well. Feeling good now. This must be the subway company's offices. <sighs> Another locked box. Kite Brothers Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Well, at least that tells us we can figure it out via trial and error. <sighs> Nothing. Well, we got to restore power first. Hello, Charlie. Achievement unlocked. Okay, so we come back here once power is restored. We got the fire hose. We need wire cutters to get the shotgun. And we're getting plenty of ammo. They're much more generous on ammo in this game. Though I am uh, playing on standard. Okay, we came from there. Let's go over here to the donut shop. Come on, guys. I'm a tasty hot dog. Oh, that's so much easier. I love the barrels. Where does this lead? Ooh. More handgun ammo. Gosh, I should be more, uh, I should use it more liberally. Looks good to me, says he locked up the shotgun, but not the grenade, lol. <laughs> yeah, good point. I want some donuts now. Give me some Slocum's Joe. More ammo. Jeez. Wow, I'm just... I don't... I'm going to have to leave stuff behind. It's not going to be like the last one where I get every little thing in the game.
Can zombies not open doors? Oh, all right. Well, let's start storing some stuff. I've got a ton of ammo here. Ooh, it stacks. Whoa, what's with the... What is all of this? Holy cow. I've got... What is all of this? Is this from like a... Okay, so that stack is full. Assault coin. Infinite rocket launcher? How do I have a rocket launcher already? Infinite CQBD assault rifle. I probably don't have the manual for that, or the ammo for that. Uses 556 millimeter. That uses a nine millimeter, and uh, that's nine millimeter. So that's my G15. 15 shot, 16 shot, so that's an upgrade. Uh, Chris Zan says, Ox, you can combine bullet ammo boxes for space. Thanks. I thought they would have done that automatically, but apparently it's not. Uh, Edward J says, combine your ammo stacks, Ox. Thank you, Edward. Yeah, I thought they were going to do that automatically, but, but they didn't. Ray Den, an energy weapon developed by Umbrella based on airborne electrical phenomena. Mortal Kombat reference. It possesses great stopping power, but only when target targeting enemy weak points. Samurai Edge, a 15-shot capacity 9mm handgun. It's been customized according to Jill's personal specifications. Excellent across the board with exceptional accuracy and firepower. Uh, all right, so should we do this one? It's one less shot, but maybe it's better than the G19 and the one that I've got. Hot Dogger, as its name implies, this umbrella-developed anti-bio-weapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. Bolt cutters! I have them in my inventory! Stars Combat Field Manual, Crafting Companion, while held, increases the amount of ammo gained when crafting. Oh, that's so cool. Error 404 Gamer Not Found says they are infinite. They need no ammo. Oh, the infinite MUP handgun. Why do I have this like overpowered weapon in my inventory where I don't have to worry about ammunition? K Mai says overpowered much? Yeah, why do I have an infinite? I mean, that's cheating, isn't it? To have an infinite weapon. So I won't use it for now. <laughs> Maybe I'll want to use it later. All right, we'll need the book, the bolt cutters and the lockpick. Let's store that. We need that to solve the case. So I've got a new knife. I've got tons of ammunition. And I've got... That's an infinite rocket launcher? Why do I have these crazy weapons? Oxhorn says, don't use that stuff because you bought the DLC. Oh, so these are basically cheats. Okay. Well, I'm not going to use the infinite ammo stuff. Now, what's this? Stars Field Combat Manual. A manual of Stars Combat Knowledge edited by Chris Redfield. While held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. Carry more to increase the effect. Uh, okay, so I can't read it. Ryan Hag says it's all endgame stuff for the complete edition. So should I, should I put this back because these are cheats? Is this a cheat? Well, I, I don't want to cheat.
K May says, Ox, you're cheating. You're supposed to get the stuff later. Okay. I put it all back. I've got the handgun and the survival knife. Uh, I've got the bolt cutters and the lockpick. I don't think those are cheats. Were those supposed to be in my inventory? Fancy box. You can examine items. Red jewel. It looks like it's made to be slotted into something. Okay. Well, let's put it here for now. Nick Newcomb says the bolt cutters and lock pick are plot. Things you'll get during the story. They show up in the box after the game. So I'm not supposed to have them yet. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll put them back until I find them. I don't understand why they would do this. I kind of wanted a wanted a, a game experience that was fresh. I guess they were assuming that you would only buy the deluxe edition if you'd already beaten the game, but that's not what I did. Chris Zan says, "Yeah, those are from the Unlock All DLC pack." I see. Well, uh, then I'll just wait until I find them in the world. As it is, even not using cheats, they're giving me way more ammunition than they gave me in the last game. I wish they would give me some indication that I've killed it. Atlas Portable Generator. Is that important to the plot? No? Okay, so... That way to Joy Munch. Uh, K-May says, Sorry if I or anyone in chat were offending you. We just want a fresh playthrough with you, Ox. Not trying to be rude. No, none of you are, have offended me. I genuinely want to know whether or not something I purchased is giving me a, a cheat that makes the gameplay pointless. Because there's no point in playing the game if you're not playing the game. 
I mean, I can understand after you've played the game if you just want to breeze through it with a bunch of overpowered weapons, but I haven't even played the game yet, so I don't want to use them yet. I'm surprised they would just give them to me like that. Okay, so we've got another catwalk here. Oh, does this lead back? It does. It leads me back here. So this is what I bypassed earlier. Wandering Paladin says, Ox, play how you want. The items in the box will affect your rating. But since you're not going for a speed run, the rating doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm not... I don't care about it. A speed run or a rating. I just want to explore it as it was intended. All right, so now that we've uh, been over here, we can go down that ladder to continue to explore. Wait, wait, there was something over here. Oh, right, there's a box. Okay, I now have what I need to put out the fire. I can't get into the cigarette shop. And I need a lockpick to get in there. Do I even need to stab them after this? <laughs> Alright, let's go put out the fire. Cutters, found them, yay. <laughs> now I have two pairs of bolt cutters because there was some in the Is someone in here? Yeah, now I've got two pairs of bolt cutters. Ah, it's so weird that they would just give me everything because I bought the special edition. I, I don't like that. Well, I am, I'm definitely going through my ammo. I've gone through half of what I've collected so far. Since we've got a safe box here, let's refill our stack. Do I have any gunpowder? I, I have one, not enough to create. Okay, so we could go get that shotgun now. Oh, let's do that before we open that. Let's go get the shotgun. I want the shotgun so bad. Of course, I don't have any shotgun shells, but... That'll come later.
All right. part is still red. I'm grateful that the knife doesn't wear down like it did in the last one. That was really annoying to me. Okay. Clear. It's done here. Bolt cutters. I can use the bolt cutters to get in there. Let's do that in a second. I want the shotgun. Where was the shotgun again? It was up here. Redstone pharmacy. No, this wasn't the shotgun. This was the coded area. This was the code that I had to open up. No! Sitting here stabbing him. What the heck? <laughs> Screw you, you dug on friggin' winging zombie. Try the pharmacy. pharmacy well let's see what these guys were doing over here oh and there was a red barrel right there could have saved so much ammunition
volume, give your girl or boy a kiss, and kiss your sassafras and goodbye. Here comes the 1984 smash hit that blew the roof off of Raccoon Stadium at half. Think he's dead. Here comes Daybreak. Nine, three, seven. Left, right, left. Nine, three, seven. Nine, three, seven. Nine, three, seven. Bingo! Ooh, what's this? A dot sight! There we go! Achievement unlocked gunsmith! Sweet! Okay. Making progress. And this brings us all the way back around here. Okay, so there's something down there. And there's something up there. Subway control room, red door there. Need a new cigar. Right. Making progress. Oh, I went back to go get the shotgun, didn't I? Oh, I forgot where it was. Something's gonna jump out and get me here. Can I make more ammo? I can. Uh, combine with gunpowder to create shotgun shells. Or combine with another high-grade gunpowder to make mag ammo.
here. Okay. That's where I came from, isn't it? Let's drop off some stuff in the box. Hip pouch? Hip pouch? Are those cheats? I don't want to loot them if they're cheats. Can the chat please tell me if these are supposed to spawn here? Because they look like really useful items that I shouldn't be getting this early. Travis with a tip on Facebook. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let me know in the chat if I'm supposed to get those this early. And if not, I'll skip them. Okay. Uh, let's store this until I actually have a shotgun. We can store that until... Well, I suppose I could use it. Um, I only have one of those. How many gunpowder do I have? I have one gunpowder. I've got two gunpowder and one high-grade gunpowder. Let's save. No, they don't spawn there, says Edward J. <sighs> All right, so I'm supposed I should use the diamond here, right? Yeah, it fits right there. Chat told me to make sure I get everything first before I reactivate the subway, so I'm going to keep the diamond stored and finish exploring. Don't pick them up, Box, says Edward. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Right, so, I've got what I need to open the subway, but... There's still a few rooms over here that I need access to. Let's see if I can get there now that I've got the bolt cutters, and there's a room over there that I haven't been to yet, and a room over there that I haven't been to yet. So, a few more rooms that I need to explore. I need to find the lock picks. Josh Bunton says, Ox, those aren't cheats. Those are equipment pieces. I know, but should I be getting them this early? That's the big question. The lock, the lock picks and the, 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 the chain cutters are equipment pieces too. They're not cheats, but I'm not supposed to get them this early, yet, yet I find them in my stash. Jessica says, they come with bonuses, Ox. All right, so I'll, I'll leave them there for now. That requires a lockpick. That requires the bolt cutters. Another fancy box. Another gem. Hey. Cool. More high grade gunpowder. Ooh, and I've got a full inventory. First aid spray. Now well, let's use this. Clear. Something's going to get me on the other side of this. Okay. 
under UBCS? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infectious. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! No! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. I wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Who's this guy? Just seeing this guy for the first time. Bleeding heart, what? Oh, shotgun shells. But wait a minute, there's a storage box in the next room, right? Yeah. Store the diamond. Actually, I have enough gunpowder now. Oh, but then that's that would give me two shotgun shells if I saved that. Uh, okay, I should probably put that back then. I forgot where the room was that had the shotgun. Training log. Edward J says, shotgun ox. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll go back and get the shotgun. Where was it? Uh, July 10th, 202 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job. Don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. I'll take it. Beats crapping away the rest of my days behind bars. I got to get back into shape. July 26th, 196 pounds, 20 kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at 400 yards, five misses. It was in subway control, says Edward. Thank you. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never stink and do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th, 190 pounds, 30 kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people, and doggone beasts of bore at that, but what the heck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a stinking human shield just to score some extra points. I guess we just met Nikolai. September 25th, 181 pounds, 30 kilometer run, four circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people, right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change, the way I know best. Too bad this man now lies dead at our feet. Okay, everybody, shotgun. Let's go get it. I love this section. All the stores are so bright and neon. It's like a carnival or like uh, Vegas or something. Hello, what's this?
For Pete's sake! Oh, and that guy wasn't even standing close, but I got him. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shaka. That's it. Sweet. Still need a lock pick for that, but hey, look at this beauty. Oh, you're gorgeous. And I love you. Mwah. Discarding key items, you could discard items that have served their purpose or any other key items with a trash mark by selecting the discard command. All right, well, we no longer need this. Discard it. Okay, we can make more shotgun shells now. We still need a lock pick for there. Uh, two more items in the next room. That's a lock pick for there, and that's something else. That's a mission objective. So, one way left to go. We've cleared all that. Okay, now we need to go that way. Let's make some shotgun ammo. Oh, I don't need those anymore. So we'll discard those. Then let's get... Six shells. Ten shells. B. 
bingo. Looking good. 14 shells. Lock pick for that. Save. Gonna find this Nikolai guy dead. Right. UBCS suicide note. September 28th, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage, I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough crap to know it only ever gets worse, and I, that was just the beginning. Maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Well, rest easy, my friend. Rest easy. Electricians notice public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. This must be the sparking generator we saw by the uh, donut shop. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, Anyone standing nearby could be electrocuted. Handwritten edition. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. I take it that's their way of saying, we're gonna find one up here and we can shoot it to get rid of zombies. Never mind. Jeez. Zombie dogs. So it just stuns them. that we got some nastiness on that bridge Gunpowder.
That clears it. I think I got him. Ooh, okay. Hey, gunfighter. Oh, another lock. Ah, dang, I got it. I have so many things I'm going to have to unlock now. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, I'm out of space. Well, I don't have any more big gunpowder yet, do I? Ah, uh, shoot. Well, might as well. Finally! Ah, my first hip pouch. Achievement unlocked. Get organized. Right. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. Okay. Four breakers. Oh man, do I gotta play Zelda? They work! It was starting to look like Chad was never going to come back from his rounds, so I poked my head in there and screw me! Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggots squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wound, wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. My gamma... My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know, the little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. <laughs> oh, God. They couldn't have told us that this is a healing, a healing any other way. Let's let's go store these so that we've got more room for key items and all of that. Oh, maggots down the throat. 
Eat your herbs. Great. Another one locked. Substation internal memo. The key to the high voltage area has gone missing and the earliest we'll be able to get a replacement in is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty. We only have one lockpick and cannot afford to lose it, so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, could you all check just once more that you did not accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it, please bring it to Kate in admin. Looks like we're about to get our lockpick. I think that might be it. Oh, he's gonna grab at me, isn't he? He's gonna just stab him in the head. Stab him in the head, quick. Oh, spiders. Yay. He didn't eat his green herbs, the jerk. Yay, lockpick. Oh, shoot. It's above you. Look above you. Ah! Ah! Oh, really? Really? Oh, aliens, man. You got a you got an egg in you now. You're done, Jill. It's going to pop out your tummy. Get it out. Green herbs. Well, Parasite? <laughs> I put my green herbs in the chest. <laughs> Gotta go get my green herbs. <laughs> yeah, this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it just stuck its tongue down her throat and injected her with parasites. Let's get those maggots out. I want to see him crawling out. Oh, shit. I didn't really want to see them crawling out. I was joking. I didn't think they would actually have it in there, but no. <laughs> oh, they had her vomit out all the maggots and everything. <laughs> That's filthy. Okay, so Looks like it continues over here, so we should go down here first straight Oh crap no What the actual heck? No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, this sucks.
Green herbs! Yay! Vomit time! This game, what? <laughs> Little spider bugs, where'd you go? Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, that goes up. Well, I should explore down there. Here we go. Ah, come on! Didn't even give me a chance there. Where were all these guys a minute ago when I was clearing this place? Filthy stinking spiders. Oh, I'm gonna go through all my ammunition. Exploring this stinking place. That's the next one. Or is that the one I just did? No, that's the next one. I gotta go up. There's one. Okay, are they really gonna send one at me as soon as I touch this? Okay, I just got to get through this quickly.
Chad's notes. It's Chad. What happened to this place? I've seen some strange crap over the past few few days. Those strange bugs building their nests, that metallic smell wafting through the vents. But man, if it didn't uh, all go straight to hell overnight, I need to check in on my my ma uptown. But the boss says I can't leave till I drop all the breakers. Dag nabbit, better finish up quick so I can get out of here. Well, screw me. My stomach hurts so much I can hardly move. At the last breaker, a big ugly bastard of a bug got the drop on me and shoved a big stinking tube down my throat. I managed to get away and somehow kept from vomiting on the spot. Stink this hurts. Feels like something's moving inside. Holding it together. Can't believe I haven't puked. Man, it hurts like I'm gonna tear apart. I think this is it for me. I love you, Ma. Edward J says they keep spawning until you leave. Oh, great. So that connects over there. So then I can run out that way. Josh Bunton says, Ox. Chat says it's worse than spiders. Those are fleas. Those are fleas? got an achievement for that. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Well, I used all my shotgun okay. ammunition. All that leaves is the main power switch. Enjoy that. gonna be sick <laughs> all right can I craft any more shotgun ammunition uh, no I've got plenty of green herbs though those will probably come in handy well let's use our newfangled lockpick thingy to go and open all those doors Am I sick? I'm a little sick. Let's, uh... Mix these together. Oh, nope, I used it. Whoops. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. 
One step ahead. Not your partner. I see. Wanted shotgun, but I'll take it. Okay. All right, so there's one in there. That's the subway power station. Why is that not clear? I just came from there. It is clear. I cleared it. Why is it not blue? It is blue. Okay. It just gets grayed out when I come over here. All right. Ah! Oh, for Pete's sake! Crying out loud. I just want to go open up all of the locked doors in peace. Black crate. Cool. <laughs> what was in the supply crate that I got off of them? Extended magazine. Cool. Running, Gertie D with a tip. Thank you, Gertie. I saved my grenades. Carlos, that thing is still alive. It's after me. What? Run! Come back to the station. Not until I get traffic control online.
god. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. Shotgun, yeah. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. Redstone to Fox Park. Okay, so 01. Uh. RE is red. O one. So this is fast to O two. Uh, Raccoon Central Station. So that would be R A two, and it's scrubbed out. No, those are all blocked. O one to Faust. That's O two. Faust to R A, which is something. Then that leads to St. Michael's Clock Tower, which is S A. ST is Stoneville, so SA must be Saint. That's O2. And then Fox is O. It's cut off. They both look like O2. Why is F O O one? R E is O one. Unable to establish root. Please try again. Okay, O one, O two. Oh, this is easier. O three, S. Okay, so O R E O one to F A O two to R A O three to S A O one. F O O two. Why am why am I looking at this? Why can't I see the other one? Two. R A O three. Valid route confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished inputting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. 
Return to the subway station. There's still more for me to loot. spray. Alright, is there a save point around here? No. There was that one store that I didn't get a chance to loot yet. Open up! I'm out. Oh, they've all got things on their heads now. Yeah, there's still this room over there. That's where I need to go. But I still have to explore that room. What the hell is it doing to them? Oh my god! Well, I'm dead. I uh, should have saved my grenades. Do I have any grenades left? No. How am I going to get out of here? Okay, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? I got a few healing items.
Oh my god, what I can't I can't run by it. I don't have any more grenades. I'm out of shotgun ammunition. Okay, well, this is the furthest I've gotten. Your Charlie doll. The original Charlie doll was based on the likeness of Toy Uncle's founder, Charlie McBurgan, and has become the mascot for the company. We are pleased to present this porcelain Charlie doll as a celebration of our 25th anniversary. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, this limited edition item makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of your family. Caution, this product is extremely fragile. Take care not to drop it or strike it. Josh Bunton says Ox use the generator to stun and run. Oh, yeah, that would have worked. Fancy box. The next gem. Oh God, how did I get through that? <laughs> but I did. Okay. Oh, I've actually got, uh, how am I getting more bolt cutters? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Tactical stock.
Bingo. And there it is, the last inventory upgrade. Hip pouch. Achievement unlocked, power stones. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, now. That's everything, right? Everything except the secrets. Or the cheats. Well, I'm not gonna loot the cheats. I looted everything else up here. So down we go. There we go. I had to cut the cigar more for uh, better, better flow. Dragon Universe says, Hey Ox, have you ever played Alien Isolation? If not, would you consider it? I have. I streamed all of Alien Isolation and its DLCs live on the program. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai. How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. She got the train running. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. Means after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. What? Wait, Joe. No. Great. What are you doing, Jill? <laughs> Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Why did you just do this? <laughs> well, that helped. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Supply case. What we get? Hey. Now's my chance. Messy, but we got in. when I'm out of healing.
Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? Oh, shit. Yeah, what were you thinking? Oh, <laughs> find another way out. Find a way out. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Map. Sewers map. Yes. A map Perfect. of the area. Perfect. It looks like I got some healing supplies and more ammunition. Perfect self. Ladies and gents, with that, I'm going to call it a night. I have a live stream tomorrow morning of Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, and I need my beauty rest. Thank you, one and all, for coming to uh, this live stream of Scotch and Smoke Rings. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed Resident Evil 3. I'm really enjoying it so far. I know some said in the chat that it, uh, it uh, wasn't as good as the original, and, you know, it's really hard to compare a remake to an original anyway because we always carry these nostalgic feelings with us. But so far, I'm still having a really good time with this one. Uh, and this, this new Mr. X monster guy, whatever he is, is just absolutely terrifying. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for joining me. We'll pick up right here where we leave off next week. Same Ox time, same Ox channel. In the meantime, I hope you'll join me. Tomorrow morning for The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Or later if I don't get enough sleep tonight. But hopefully I'll get some sleep so that we do it right at 10 o'clock. For the weekend, I've already got my tactics lore video done and ready. Maybe if I have enough time, I'll have another super secret special video ready for you on Sunday. No promises. Cross your fingers. We'll see. But for tonight, just hit the sack. Get some sleep. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning with some Witcher 3. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.